Hi and hello everybody. Welcome to Sitch Classroom. Today in this video tutorial, I am going to show you as to how you can record your Android screen. Uh, just before getting started, let me just tell you, uh, uh, just give you a head start. You need a minimum of Android Lollipop in order to use these apps. Right now, as such, there are no straight way of recording your uh, Android screens with the microphone especially. There are however ways uh, using your SDK commands and all you can record your screen but not along with your microphone. So you need a minimum of Android Lollipop in order to record your screen along with the microphone audio. So let's get started. I have two apps in front of me. The unlimited uh, screen recorder app and another one is I loss of screen recorder app. Let's make a comparison of both. When you open the I loss screen recorder app, it's uh, it just opens a window asking you for an email password and the, the top you have the register function here. Actually, I don't find any interesting features even if you register. So as such, you can just straight away proceed to uh, record your screens. So you can uh, record your uh, start recording your screen. I'm already recording my this video using the iLoss screen recorder. You can just check it out here. I'm recording the screen using iLoss uh, screen recorder. Uh, it shows one uh, indicator right at the top. Okay, so you, at the top you have some options. Click on the options. If you see these are disabled because right now I'm recording. You have then. Uh, choice of disabling your microphone audio and you have another option to enable or show touches and all if i disable this touches are not being shown let me enable it back you can see a small circle running around this shows the touches and then of course you have basic functions like uh, choosing your uh, quality of the video that you record you can record a high quality video a high definition video at uh, 30 frames per second which consumes a data of uh, 4 mbps and uh, it goes on till medium and standard where the data rates are very much low right now i'm recording it at uh, 1 mbps uh, basic hd version of it not the uh, very high definition just the hd ready version 720p so that is all about the ilos but one interesting feature about the ilos uh, screen capture or the video recorder i need to mention is that it records your screen even when you turn off your screen i mean to say even when you locked your screen it keeps recording the audio right now i have turned off my screen what you can see is just a black screen here i have uh, turned off my screen i have locked my screen but it still records the audio so you can see here it is still recording unlike the ilo screen recorder which records your audio and video even when the screen is turned off uh, the unlimited screen recorder doesn't allow your uh, video to be captured when the screen is locked it just turns itself off you can see here but it has a plethora of options unlimited screen recorder you can choose your uh, data rate it goes from 1 mbps till uh, 20 mbps on the other hand with the ilo screen recorder we saw that it ranged from just 1 mbps till 4 mbps here it varies from 1 mbps and goes up till uh, 20 mbps i would say you better stick on to some ranges around um, 10 and 15 because it consumes a lot, a lot of data and uh, moreover you lose some kind of, an, you'll have some lags between your audio and the video if you go for higher rates. And then of course you can choose your codecs just like in case of iLoss, in iLoss also you can switch codecs. You, you can choose your codecs and uh, you can choose your frame rates as well. It starts from say custom, uh, you can enter your custom rates and then uh, it goes up to the standard uh, 30 and then 60 resolution you can record it in a full resolution or half resolution and finally the last thing is you can re record your audio when you have <clears throat> portrait in a or landscape mode okay so the main thing is uh, as i told uh, before itself the basic drawback of the unlimited screen recorder is when you lock your phone, the video recording stops and it gets disconnected. That is the basic disadvantage. So I would say I have been using this for some time. Um, I would say you just go for eye loss. In certain cases, if you are making some kind of a demonstration which makes uh, which requires you to lock your phone, 
I say you stick on with iLoss. I don't have anything against the unmuted screen recorder, but uh, my vote is over iLoss. I hope it gave some clarity to you. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.